The human species have an interesting process of sexual selection. This can be shown by two types of behaviour. The first being intrasexual selection, where two males fight to get the attention of the female. Here we can see the male human, Sam, competing with the second male, Harry, for the attention of the female, Claudia. The female of the species will mate with the victor of this rut. As a result, their offspring will inherit more preferable genes. The human species also exhibits intersexual selection. This can be seen in the preferences of the females of the species towards males who have strong jaws, large hands and broad shoulders, and are generally taller than other prospective mating partners. These traits are preferred as they indicate a strong provider and good genes. This is why there is a saying among the humans that random mating is essentially stupid mating. This would be all well and good, but males of the species have evolved to have a greater desire for casual mating. It was found that 75% of male university students replied yes to the question, will you have sex with me, whereas no females replied yes to this question. Sometimes the female reacts badly to this type of behaviour and they disregard these males as future mates. The males behave in this fashion to maximise their reproductive success. However, the female of the species have not been subjected to the same evolutionary processes as multiple pairings would not increase their reproductive success. Occasionally a couple can be observed that have a mutually beneficial long-term mating. Here we can see Philip and Barbara, an example of the kind of relationship others strive for. Philip, the male of the species, invested more in his mating than may be usual. In this female, he was looking for physical attractiveness as an indication of good health and increased fertility. Barbara is also 20 years younger than Philip, a trait the male found appealing as it increases the chances of reproduction. Hormones also influence the process of mate selection. When a human female is an oestrus, they are more attracted to the males of the species. But how can the males tell when the females are fertile? It was found that lap dancers that were in oestrus earned twice as many tips as those who were not. The fact that they were more fertile meant that they would appeal to males as they would be able to carry their offspring. So is this true for all humans? A study of 10,000 humans belonging to 37 different cultures found that universally humans look for similar things in long-term mates. Females of the species desire a male with good financial prospects and potential for resource acquisition. Males of the species place more importance on physical attractiveness as an indication of good health and increased fertility. Increased fertility is also often found by acquiring younger males. Both sexes strive to find a mate who is intelligent as this indicates future skills at parenting, a mate who is kind as this is linked to an interest in a long-term relationship, and a mate who is dependable as this is linked to a willingness to help a mate in times of trouble.